All right, family, we'll jump straight to our conversation of today. You know, it is extremely very important. We have a document to share. You know, um, my Mona is alive and he's super organized. You know, my Mona is alive and he's super organized. Doesn't matter how beautiful the gift you have. If you misuse it, he condemns you. He put you out of his ways. You know, because when the disciples were busy, when the apostles were in charge of the assembly of Christ, there were also a lot of prophets. There were many prophets, many vates, you know, we call it vates, many prophets, many. If you read, you know, Act, the book of Act, it mentioned about teachers, you know, doctors and, and prophets as well, many. And everybody must work accordingly. You know, we must work together and in order because Zambia is not altar of confusion. You know, you cannot stand by your own thought or claiming the money is in you and say, no, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that without Elder Makailo being into agreement with you. You know, and say, I'm going to do that. No, no. Every, every Anything the money inspires you to do, we all must be in agreement. You know, if we're not in agreement, which means you are outside of the line. And when you're in the line, we will say, you know what? I, I, I'm not touching that. And if you do it by yourself, you will be in trouble. So that's that's the need of time to time, my Mona, he, he sends, you know, he, he sends, uh, he gives us an order. He reminds us the, the, the instruction and the commandment of Tatan Zambi to bring order into, into, you know, into his flock. You know, they say that Negroes are disorganized. That's what people say, you know. They say black people are disorganized. There's no order, confusion, anywhere. you know. They say many things, you know, because of some brothers and sisters who allow the evil spirit to misuse them or to use them to bring this confusion in the stuff. You know, there is only order when the spirit of truth is not present. The spirit of truth is order. He listens, he understands, he feels, he speaks, he sees, he hears. I mean, he has the senses we also human beings have. But your thought is beyond us, you know, and his way is not our ways. I'm going now to Isaiah, you know. So that's the needy. Oh, from time to time, I'm on a, he issue us a command, a document to bring order into the talk with universe. Order. Doesn't matter how powerful you gift you have. Order and order and order. You know, that's why Paul says, I mean, you, I can speak in tongues, I can heal people, do this and that, da, da, da. So the reason of our conversation of today, you will understand the reason why, you know, outside in the church, there are many confusion. You know, one pastor opened his church, he does whatever he does. He commands the, the, even the people to eat grass, you know, to drink, you know, to eat snakes. Many things is happening. You know, but in the land, it is through this order that my mother gave us, we are able to maintain and to control, you know, all those evil spirits who try to <clears throat> to inflict and disturb the good, you know, cores of the work of Njambi we've been doing. Yes, but name, please, if you may share. No much all I want to ask you very to be to read, please. Okay. Yes, family, that is very important, all right? For you that are on, please, I will invite you to pay attention to you. That is a very important document. Brandon, can you zoom in, please? Brother Benica, you're on mute. You're oh, on mute. Yeah, Thank you, brother. We'll start from the head of Matola. All right, read the way it is, Mama Sol. All right, read the way it is. Do not alter anything. All well, right. you want me to start at the top, church? Yeah. Yes, from the church. top, please. And for us, let let us pay a good attention, please. I believe you will learn something here, and you will understand the reason why of this document. And as you read this document, think about awakening. 
and all those, you know, meow, meow, meow that you see out there. <laughs> all right, Mamosola, go ahead, please. Church of our Lord Jesus Christ in the world, the Tokolis. Remember, on the 25th of July, 1949, by His Holiness Prophet Samal Conclave Toko, spiritual leader, to Church of our Lord Jesus Christ in the world, the Tokolis. So, which means this, this document was given to every. We are all over the world. This document is given to everybody. Yeah. Communication number one, LE0024, about order and discipline in the church. <laughs> about what? Order and discipline in the church. Okay. Uh... Mama Royal, can you please prepare Matthew 15, 24, please? Yes, Mama Antola, go ahead. Best regards in the name of the one who anointed me, consecrated me, and sent me on his mission in search of the lost sheep because of the fresh grass and joy in the world. Matthew 15, 24. That is the introduction of Simon Toko, you know. In the new body, he uses, he always mentioned that, in the name of he who anointed me and consecrated me and sent me to his mission, to the lost trip, to the lost ship of his soul. Yes, my royal Matthew 15, 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of his And get that. Matola, please. And this message is for the lost sheep. You know? So we may understand. Because, you know, when we lost, we are in the confusion. Order in the house. Matola. Dear members of the body of 24 elders, most reverend auxiliary and honorary bishops, venerating high priests, respectable members of the Episcopal. The Holy Bible teaches us to maintain order and discipline in the church as synonyms with faith, as synonymous with faith and obedience to God, according to 1 Corinthians 14, 26 through 39. Yes, Maria. By the way, we have a we have a high priest, an elder, very old. He lives in Taya. Not to represent Aaron to us. And also we have the 24 elders. You there Mama Royal. I'll read it. 1 Corinthians 14, 26, orderly worship. How is it then, brethren, when you come together, every one of you have a song, have a doctrine, have a tongue, have a revelation, have an interpretation. Let all things be done unto edifying. If any man speak in an unknown tongue, let it be by two, or at the most by three, that by of co by course, and let one interpret. But if there be one, no interpreter, let him keep silence in the church, and let him speak to himself and to God. Let the prophet speak two or three, and let the other judge. If anything be revealed to another that sit by, let the first hold his peace. For you may all prophesy one by one, that all may learn and all may be comforted. And the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. 
and in all churches of the saints. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also said the law. And if they learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. For it is a shame for women to speak in the church. What? Came the word of God out from you? Or came it unto you only? If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. Get them. Get Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy and forbid not to speak with tongues. Get them. Get them. You can proceed on to Allah in verse 32. Yes. In, in verse 32 and 33, the text stated above, it says, and the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. For God is not a God of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the same. So which means, when the mind is up on you, you must be aware. You know, Paul says in part, we prophesy, in part we know. There are many people when the Holy Spirit is upon them, sometimes due to the lack of knowledge and fully submission, you know, they end up doing a lot of confusion. So the money is like a power, it's like a machine gun, it's like a weapon. When you are throwing the bullet, you must handle carefully. Otherwise, if you shoot, you know, with the weapon, the weapon can carry you. So you must know, but in order to maneuver the weapon very well, you must go under training. That is the training in which prophet, martyrs, or spiritual people, they are required to go through. All right, Mom, so look, go ahead. In verse 37, Apostle Paul, vessel of Jesus Christ, concluded by saying, If anyone thinks he is a prophet or is spiritual, let him recognize that the things I have written to you are commandments of the Lord. End of quote. Based on this text, and for the love of the one who suffered and gave his life to rescue the sheep, it is necessary to remember the same recommendations due to some disobedience that has been seen in recent days. So in this way, the following is clarified and alerted. Number one, the church of our Lord Jesus Christ in the world, the Tokoistas, did not receive the spirit of crazy people who do not obey. We did not receive the spirit of crazy people who do not obey. Obeying the elders, obeying above all the commandment of the Tanzambi. You know? All right, go ahead, Mumotsola. Don't even listen, so they do not obey. Don't even, they don't even listen to the voice of the prophets. Sorry, Mumotsola. So we did not receive a spirit who do not even obey. Don't even listen to the voice of the prophet. Yes. The spirit that dwells in us and in the church, which we received in 1949, is of adoption of children through which we can cry Abba Father Romans 8 15. If anybody has Romans 8 15 there we'll move very fast if anybody is it you can pull up please 
In For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. In get you can proceed also. The church is all its extensions. No, the church, the church in, all in all its extensions. The church in all its extensions, from the ecclesiastical province provincial churches in the Tokoisa universe, tribes, parishes, areas, classes, and branches must trigger the teaching of the Holy Bible in all age groups. That is our reference, the Bible. That is our reference to maintain and keep the order, the scripture. Yes. Children must attend Sunday school from the ages of 6 between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. before the service. Four, responsibility for teaching in Sunday schools must be the responsibility of pastors without prejudice to the existence of the monitors. Five, at meetings of elders, there must always be a biblical text for study before and or after discussing the agenda of the meeting. Six, all spiritual work promoted by people who claim to be in spirit and without the consent of the co corresponding pastoral management council are prohibited. You know, those those are people who claim to be a prophet and he himself claiming to be a prophet and go ahead to do such work. That's why you see a lot of confusion out there. People to be to claim to be people who claim to be a prophet, and there is nobody above him. You see, he, he, he doesn't submit to anybody. He does whatever he understands and feels like he's correct. Father McKenna tell, tells you wrong, they say no, because they are their own, you know, uh, council. Above all, above all, above him, there, there's nobody. But in Zambia, they claim, they say, yes. All healing houses that promote treatment in the name of the Church of our Lord Jesus Christ in the world, the Tokoistas, are prohibited except for treatments that take place in tabernacles with the approval of the respective, respective directorate of the local church, parish, or tribe. Directorates at all levels of church organizations must maintain vigilance in the area of jurisdiction to monitor and discipline all spiritual work that is carried out in the area they control. All places found to be working without due authorization from the church must be dismantled and closed. No person, man or woman can use the name of the Holy Spirit and or angels and prophets to carry out any activity, not even being the promoter, disrespecting the rules of the church. Family, the power that is amongst us in the Tokus universe is extremely powerful. You know, the moment the one that take really over of your body, you become a, a powerful person. Everything you say, even you think, you know, there is influence of the one If you think righteousness, the one that you will feel something, you know, and if anybody is sick, the moment you look to that person, you will, be feel, you will feel like to heal that person. Healing is good, but the problem is when something goes wrong. That's the catch. You can put yourself in trouble. Which means if you are not in condition, if you sin knowing or unknowingly, if you have something kept in which you didn't, 
you know, you didn't uh, remove from your heart and you are attempting to heal somebody because you are a prophet, that can be, put yourself in trouble. That can put yourself in trouble. You know, remember when the disciples were, were, were trying to go and cast out a demon? They put themselves in trouble. They were even lucky. Because the demon, they just beat them up. If Tatan Zambu wasn't with them, the demon will jump on him. And if they get possessed, and this kind of event already happened in the Catholic Church. Believe me, many fathers, many Catholic priests right now, they are possessed by full entity, demonic entities. But they still, you know, Ave Maria, but the demon. Many of them, believe me, many of them, they are leading the church under the influence of a powerful fallen angels upon them. Because many of them, they try, you know, they feel like, you know, I'm a father, I'm, I will go and deliver that person, I will go and heal that person. And they will jump on him. That's why the Vatican, they consider to be the, the den of demon. So this is for our own good. <laughs> Last time in the press session, we were cautioning people to be, to be careful. You know, even on YouTube, there are many people who speak bad about the Tokwish church. You know, especially one individual, won't mention the name, especially one who used to be part of the church. But because of this gift he had, and he refused to be under the authority of the elders, he was put out. And now the spirit of error possesses him. And he's unstable mentally, it's not good. We must be careful, fam. You know, your gift, my gift, is for the growth of the sheep of that Zambi. Not for my own benefit. Right, Mama Zola? Point 11, Brad Nimi. Prayer for the sick must be said in the tabernacle and a church commission may go to meet the person who is sick. If they cannot go to the tabernacle, but always with the consent of the respective pastoral council, according to James 5, 14 through 15. Does anybody ask James? Is anyone among you, is, is anyone among you, let him sick, let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Okay. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. And get that. Yanni, yeah. yeah, can you prepare Galatians and Proverbs? Yes, Mamutola. Let's go. Behold, the existence of gossipers in the church is expressly prohibited. All those who use the name of God are the holy prophet. Samal and Cleve Toko are prohibited from doing so. Understand that when Jesus Christ of Nazareth sought to actually build his church and expand it further away from the borders of Judea and Jerusalem, he did not send or use two people other than Saul, who was later called by Paul. All gossips who like to play with the church using tricks from what they have heard from me be anathema. Galatians 1, 6, 9. Because they harm the church and destroy
destroy the fate of the listeners. Proverbs 25, 18. Pingeta. Let's go for the name Galatians chapter 1, 6 to, to 9. Pingeta. Galatians chapter 1, 6 through 9. I am shocked that you are turning away so soon from a zombie who called you to himself through the loving mercy of Christ. You are following a different way that pretends to be the good news, but pretend it is not the good news be, at all. Pretend it pretends to be, to be the good news. The good news, but it's not the good news at all. You are being fooled. Which means woe unto those who wear two jacket. Or two jacket. Woe unto them who wear two jacket. They put the jacket of Tatan Zambi and they put the jacket of Kadian Pemba. Tatan Zambi is good, Kadian Pemba is good. Tatan Zambi is good, Kadian Pemba is good. Whether they are doing that knowing or unknowingly, that's dangerous. Yes, Brandim. You are being fooled by those who deliberately twist the truth concerning Christ. Wait, wait. You are what? Being fooled by those who deliberately twist the truth concerning Christ. They twist the truth. When the Bible verse suit them, they use it. When it doesn't suit them, they throw it away. Open the eyes, family. Yes. Let's go, brother name. Let in zombies curse fall on anyone, including us, or even an angel from heaven who preaches a different kind of good news than the one we preach to you. I say again, what we have said before, if anyone preaches any other good news than the one you welcomed, let that person be cursed. They already cursed them. Doesn't matter who's that. Don't follow names, you know, don't follow names on YouTube. Don't follow names. You know, Brother Benica's name, a guy, you know, no, no, don't follow names. If Benica is anatema, is an, you know, is preaching error, run away. Don't follow, don't follow names or face. Even the per person close to you is even somebody close to you, very close to you. If you know that person is not in order, don't submit to his teaching. You know. Yes, Proverbs. Proverbs 25, verse 18. Telling lies about others is as harmful as hitting them with an axe, wounding them with the sword, or shooting them with a sharp arrow. Mm -hmm. When they come together, the, the, the only conversation is gossip. Is gossip, you know, gossip, gossip, complaining and complaining and speak bad, you know, about other people's. Including if, you know, now the conversation of the awakening is white people. That's the, the only conversation we have. Let me tell you, if you want to please the people in the awakening, so just speak better about white people. You will have a lot of crowd. Believe me, you will, everybody will follow you. And guess what? Kadim Pemba used that as a distraction. Use, I'm not saying we can complain of the injustice that sometimes happen in society. We can't address those. But that's not the focus. Yes, from Tola. Those responsible are people who enter into agreements with these false prophets and false teachers who seek to blaspheme the good name of God and his church must be severely sanctioned in accordance with the rules established in the statutes and regulations of the church. Pastoral councils were established to administer the sacraments, teach, decide, teach discipline, the love of God, and love for others, which are essential commandments, which once observed, men will be saved. Respect and obedience to the ecclesiastical hierarchy are norms. And at the same time, inviolable principles. 
because even when the great angel cherubim, the famous one, tried to subjugate the hierarchy, he was not tolerated. Isaiah 14, 12 through 16. Does anybody is Isaiah? That is Kenyan mm, paper yeah, who refused yeah. to submit oh. himself. Go ahead, brother. Oh, how you are. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Lee. How you are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. You have been thrown down to the earth, you who destroyed the nations of the world. For you said to yourself in your heart, I will ascend to heaven and put my throne above God's stars. I will preside on the mountain of the gods far away in the north. I will climb to the highest heavens and be like the most high. Instead, you will be brought down to the place of the dead, down to its lowest depths. Everyone there will stare at you and ask, can this be the one who shook the earth and made the kingdoms of the world tremble? In get that. In get that. That is the destiny of those who are full of pride and they accept counsel from nobody else. Yes, Mama Tola. Those who offer their homes to serve as places to carry out such practices must also be severely punished for violating the image of the founding leader and the unity of the church. Ngeta. Ngeta. No act that harms the proper functioning of the church and its bodies at all levels should be tolerated. Anyone who insists on these practices must be severely sanctioned according to the canonical norms of the church. Whoever is hungry should get a job or go to work in the field and God will help him. To have enough to satisfy his carnal passions and desires. Le vouvement. Yalla. 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 That is for those who make, you know, who, who use, who misuse the word of Nzambe to make money. You know, and to gain through the gift they have. The scriptures say freely receive, freely give. So the message from Toko is... If when, whoever is hungry is in is immersed in poverty, go get a job. That's why we study. The Tokus Church is full of you know scholars, people. We work, we have a job. You know, that is his teaching. I must have, I cannot be, you know, uh, a poor man and full of the manda because I can be possessed also, but I can be tempted by poverty, <laughs> you know. So to avoid temptation because of poverty, Toko, my Mona, he advised the young people especially to study really hard, to build your life and to get a job. Because guess what? When you are unemployed, you're always home. The mind will be an open, open field to many different kinds of thought. You know, and if it doesn't, if even if that didn't reveal anything to you, you will claim that he revealed to you, but he, he did it not. He did not. So, family, that is extremely important. Come on, Tola, do you still have time? Because you still have time? Yes, keep going. Okay, let me know when you when you when you went in time expire, right? I don't want to disturb mm -hmm. your your yeah, your program. All right. Go ahead, Mama Tola. Brad Nimi, Romans. No act that harms the proper functioning of the church and its bodies at all levels should be tolerated. Anyone who insists on these practices must be severely sanctioned according to the canonical norms of the church. Whoever is hungry should get a job or go to work in the field and God will help him to have enough to satisfy his carnal passion and desires. When warned to desist from all practices and not comply, opting to continue with the same harmful acts, they must be reported to the competent authorities 
and be expelled from the church. Romans 13, 1 and 4. This is what happened to the individual I mentioned. You know, Brad Nimi, Romans 13, 1 to 4. In Gita, this is Romans 13, 1 through 4. Everyone must submit to governing authorities, for all authority comes from God. And those in positions of authority have been placed there by God. So anyone who rebels against authority is rebelling against God who instituted. And they will be punished. For the authorities do not strike fear in people who are doing right, but in those who are doing wrong. Would you like to live without fear of the authorities? Do what is right, and they will honor you. The authorities are God's servants sent for your good. But if you are doing wrong, of course you should be afraid, for they have the power to punish you. They are God's servants sent for the very purpose of punishing those who do what is wrong. In Geta. In Geta. Yes, Mumutala. The church of our Lord Jesus Christ in the world, the Tokuis, has a broad cons constituted by the has a board constituted by the body of 24 elders, a body with deliberative powers by the episcopate, which is in the executive body. That is, it is the central directorate of the church and also has a unipersonal body which is the spiritual leader from which all the acts of the church are emanated, emanated and incarnated in him any violation of established norms and principles Whatever level the member is, must be prepared to respond to ecclesiastical and or state entities, depending on the type of crime committed. Wicked acts carried out in the name of angels or prophets who completed their mission on the immaculate earth will never be covered up. Every soul that sinned will be judged and punished and never an ancient angel or prophet. Archangel Michael will not be called to be judged for acts committed by Uncle A or Uncle B. Ingeta. This, Ingeta. You know, just a second, Momotola, family. It, the angels in which, you know, come down from heaven and uses us, they extremely, once again, I said, powerful. It is very important for us to have self-control. Once again, that's why, you know, we say, we condone violence. You know, when sometimes you see the, our people complaining about, you know, racism, this and that, in the awakening, we always say, be careful so that that so that uh, uh, the spirit of anger does not control you. Because if you have the wonder within you and you do not control yourself enough, through the spirit, the, the strength of the wonder vela, you can kill someone by punching or to fight. You, let me say if you decide to fight with somebody, you can kill a person. Because when the power of Tatan Zambi is within you, if you fight against somebody, somebody, you can kill that person. One punch is enough. <laughs> You're extremely powerful, family. We are extremely powerful. Don't subjugate your strength. You know, that is not the demon. That is the Mwanda Velela. So that's why one of one of the the, the great the, the fruit of the Mwanda Velela, the last one is self-control. We must always pray for that. Self-control. So that we do not consume men on earth by killing them because we lost control. And guess what? And if the money is within you and you didn't control yourself enough, you will be held responsible. Although the strength is from above, 
but the body belongs to you and you will be held accountable. You know, that is the problem. Okay, Branim, you must go. Ne? Okay, we'll finish quick. Ne? We'll finish quick. Just a few slides, a uh, few, few lines left. Momentola, please go ahead. The, this, ma this mass that has caused so much misfortune has fallen off. Everyone who speaks in the name of God must assume his messages and consequences, whether positive or negative. And to do so, he must be confident in what he transmits to others. The competent authorities of the state in Angola and elsewhere in the world must collaborate in protecting the good name. The Tokuis do not fight, do not use alcohol, do not disrespect human life, and cannot be accomplices in acts that violate the Ten Commandments of the law of God. This communique must be distributed throughout the church, disseminated in all existing means of communication and read repeatedly in all church meetings. This communique must also be shared with related bodies of the Angolan state, namely Ministry of Culture, Ministry of Justice, and human rights, general command of the national po police, pro pro provincial police commands, municipal, district, and communal police commands, among other institutions, depending on the matter. Once received and read, each pastoral directorate must send a, me a copy received Receive copy of this community. Fulfill yourself. Thank you very much, Mamatola. Brandimi, thank you very much. So the rest is fine, you know. That is just the date, May 8, 2024. Brandimi, I think you can stop the presentation, please. And as we see your message, you know, you say you have to leave Matano Masaka for your time and for presenting, uh, for making yourself available. So, family, that's the message we'd like to share with you. To maintain the order. You know, and uh, if you know anybody who is in confusion, acting in confusion in the name of, using the name of the Tanzani, please, advice you know right now Adam Pemba he knows that he, he he has few time left and he's, he's operating in a tricky way if we don't have the discernment we will think that is the one that, that is the Holy Spirit but it's not but you, you we will observe we will know through the fruit confusion and disorder in the house. So that's why Toko is concerned, you know, and the only thing he wants is to maintain the order amongst his soul in it. You will see many people claiming to be a prophet, but the question is, who did anoint you as a prophet? Okay, if you are anointed as a prophet, who is your authority? In which authority you are under? Who do you submit? If there is no, if there is nobody above me, uh, that that for that you know, <laughs> I mean, family, you know, you are in America, and you know, you know better than me, you know, regarding this thing, all right? Yeah, you know better, you know. And let me tell you something: in the black churches, you will always see a council. Black churches, the elders, you know, not today, only few elders. 
but especially back then, they, they are extremely wise elders, believe me. Very wise. And that council we see there in the churches, they serve as a purpose to maintain the order. To maintain the order. But if that council does not have the one of the Holy Spirit, they will be easily deceived. Easily deceived. <music>